Oh god! What is up you bunch of freaks? My name is Sleeper TV and I am super excited to be playing Twisted Reality Origins. Now this was suggested by Springtrap Gamer97 and so thank you, thank you. This does look like a terrific game so I was like, I need to give this a go. I gotta play this game. I mean, I it looks like a good FNAF game. I, you know, and I can't just let a good fat FNAF game go out the window. You know what I'm saying? I just, I gotta play it so. Figured I'd give it a go and give it a try. It seems creepy. It seems very, very creepy. But anyway. Alright, so night number one. Tell me what to do. Oh, bobblehead. Thank you, Golden Freddy. It's very nice of you. I like when you bobble your little head like that. Oh, it is? Okay. Uh welcome. Uh-huh. Welcome to your new summer job here at Fred Best Family Diner. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, let's start off with the basics, shall we? Uh-huh. Uh, first up the list, monitoring the attractions. Now you've probably heard this like a million times already. Million and one. There's been rumors of certain persons that have come to me, uh, that our animatronics have been acting, let's say, a bit more strange <laughs> than you. Sorry. Some of our clients have heard weird mutter voices. Easily amused. Uh huh. They're just a bit old. They're so old that we have to keep them on during the night in case of any problems. We'd have to reboot their system every day of the week, otherwise, since they're so weak. Uh huh. And that's where you come in. Your main goal is to secure them and lure them back onto the stage. Okay. If they ever go missing. Keep a close eye on them, and since you're new here, they might be a little curious. And if they try to enter your office, or if they become too active, uh, use the control shock on your left and right. Oh, yeah. That's what I like. Uh, by the way, if you see a music bug uh, thingy appear on your screen, don't touch it. We'll talk about that later on. Okay? See ya. All right. Leave me hanging, why don't you? You bring up a music box, but you say don't touch it. I mean, I, I feel like I gotta touch it. Forget about doors. Let's just shock the heck out of these things, which I feel like is actually a good, <laughs> a good suggestion. Let's just, let's kill them. Kill them straight up. All right. So that is going to come handy uh, because I'm sure I'm going to have to keep the music box wound uh, while everything else uh, is just going smooth and natural. So right now, night number one usually goes that you just have to check the doors. Now, I was reading in the comments, the only grief that people had with this was that uh, as you go later in the night, say in night number four, they said it gets really, oh crap, uh, that was accidental. It's not on purpose. But anyway, they said as you get like on night number four, like it just picks up out of nowhere. So they said in the night number one through three, as normal as you would expect a FNAF fan game. Uh, but when you hit night number four, that's when it becomes very difficult. But anyway, this looks fantastic, by the way. Simple, but fantastic. I mean, one of the better FNAF fan, fan games that I've seen in a while. Like, in a long while. I love it. I think it's great. I just gotta make sure I'm checking these doors. Because, you know, night number one, even though it's simple... It can lull you into a sense of comfort. And I've learned this over a period of times of playing FNAF games, is that you always have to be prepared. Because anything bad can happen at any moment. It doesn't matter if it's night number one. It could be night number one. It could be night number two. Always got to be prepared because you could die at any moment if you're not paying attention. Now, what's the point? In my only, the, the only question here. Why the heck do I have a flashlight? And I, but I need to turn the lights on over here. It only makes sense if I didn't have a flashlight. And do I have a head flashlight, headlamp on right now? Okay. Oh God. I, I do that. That will happen. That will end up being the death of me at some point. I could guarantee it. <sighs> so right now, I'm just checking these. Um, K 
Okay. I thought I was supposed to check something, but I'm a bit scared right now, and I don't want to. All right. So I'm I'm sure that the music box is going to be brought up in night number two. And hopefully they have no one like Foxy, where it's just like, if you haven't been paying attention to the cameras for a while, he's coming after you. But hopefully that doesn't happen in night number one. Because you know what? I'm just a beginner. I'm, I'm learning this game. So you can't just go hardcore at me. You can't just go balls to the wall. You have to you have to take it easy on me. I'm a first timer. I'm, I'm a game virgin on this. Oh, God. Oh, God. That freaked me the frick out. All right, um, why did I hit that twice? Uh, can that, can it, can you go off? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I just had to press the button to turn it off. All right. So, oh God, I, I've done that multiple times now. I've done that multiple times. I need to stop that. God. All right, so what does the temperature have to do with anything? So my temperature go up and does that cause an issue? I don't know. You wonder, the question that I have for all FNAF fans out there, and I am one as well, is that when do you think the game will actually go out of style? Like, I mean, I understand like this was a big hit like probably about five years ago. Oh God, stop doing that, dude. I don't like that. That is a no-go for me. Anyway, I guess that's my question. What? Ha when is this going to go out of style? Like, when are people going to have enough of FNAF games? Because, quite frankly, like, I enjoy them. Even though, like, most of them are the same mechanics. Like... Okay. 6 a.m.'s here. I I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it any way you want to give it to me. But anyway, the way I'm going to do this is a little bit different. Um, press any I'll, I'll play this first. Hold on. Hold on. Just let me play. So. Oh! Boat! 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 Poppin! Poppin! Yeah! I'm doing it, Mom! Everything you raised me to be came down to this point! Alright, uh... My mom's so proud of me. Oh, God. Uh... Uh, come on, baby. Uh, gosh, these are tricky little things. Dude, I'm getting it. Oh my gosh. This is like a finger workout and a half. Dude, I'm like rocking this game. I don't know how everybody else did, but you know what? I just straight up killed you, little prairie dogs. Prairie Freddies. That's right. But anyway. Before we play night number two, well, actually, you know what? What the heck? I'll play night number two on this episode. But normally what I'm going to do here moving forward is I'm only going to play one night, you know, one night at a time because I feel like that's the only way to go about this. Yeah, uh, that's the only so way. This is tape two out of five. In the first one, we talked about the animatronics. Uh-huh. What to do if they try to interact with uh -huh. So, in this second tape, we will talk about the different features oh that you will use available on your monitor. Uh huh. Does that sound good? Yes. I'm okay, okay with that. Let's start off with the music box. If you click on camera A, a button will pop out. Some sort of counter. That button needs to be recharged from time to time. Do oh. not let it drain out. Okay. You might be surprised of the problem. <laughs> now. If you look at the top right corner of your screen, you'll find another button. This one is for the different floors. Oh, yeah. Click on it, for example. You're now seeing the ventilation shaft. Oh my gosh! Really likes to go in there if the temperature's too hot. And once they're in there, it won't leave. So be careful, because this one's dangerous. Equal it scrap. You'll see why. We actually 
don't know his real name. Uh huh. One time I checked out our activities to find more about this guy. Mm, there was nothing. He just kind of appeared out of nowhere. So remember to always check the best. Anyway, that's all I have to say right now. Okay. The recording is about to stop. So yeah. Good night. I wish there was an easy way about this because I got a feeling I'm going to die on night number two because there was a lot of information in that. Who the heck is hiding in the vents again? Why? I, I gotta be careful, dude. I heard, like, honestly, like, it's got me worried a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, because they were saying that it gets extremely hard. I like that. I don't like it. Now, would I hear someone in the vents if they're up there? Like, that's the question I have. Um, someone's in the vents. Um, okay. That's my feet. Oh god! I didn't mean to do that! Sorry! Didn't mean to do that. That was accidental. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. What I want to do is I, I just want to keep a hold of the amusement box. I had a bad feeling about this. Honestly, I don't like this. Like, why would you send two idiots my way after night number one? Like, I, am I supp you're supposed to buy me breakfast first before you just screw me over, right? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Um... I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I am getting nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get their music box going. What's that sound? How do I know if someone's in the vents? That's the question. That's what I wanted out. <sighs> oh God. Oh God. Molly, I am nervous. I'm actually, I'm, I, I am nervous. I, I, you know, and I've, I rarely ever get nervous in these games, but this game has actually put me on edge, uh, because I don't know what the heck is coming after me right now. I want to see if there's anything in here. But Alright, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay, boy. I I just gotta keep telling myself that over and over again because if I don't, that's when I realize everything's not okay.
All right, so I forget who goes in the vents. Like, they were saying someone goes in the vents, but I haven't seen anybody yet. That makes me nervous. I hate how quick. That's the double-edged sword to all this, like I stated. 6 a.m. See night number two, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Remember kids, don't do drugs. I don't know where that came from. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, a comment, and also subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I will be doing more of this game in the next episode. Uh, let me do this first, and then we'll close out the episode. So, come on, baby. All right, so it's like kind of randomness. All right, um, all right, I gotta, I gotta be on top of my game because these guys, they're not fooled around. They're like coming at me like little groundhogs. I forget they call this game whack-a-mole. Remember it. What's the score that I need to have? Technically, I only have to go back and forth between these two holes if I wanted to. I could do that. Uh, come on, get these little wax bowls. Alright, time's up! But I did better than last time, so that's always a plus. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like, comment, and also subscribe if you would like to. And I would love you guys forever. So... I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to hit that bell for more upcoming uh, uploads. And so I will see you guys next time. Bye.